what the soldier. <laughs> did you actually watch it or no? Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. <coughs> of course. I did as well. Uh, I like it. I the actually do. I, I like I it. The first episode kind of hit too hard. It's like. Yeah. It's yeah. I'm like, ooh, ooh. That one reveal, oof. I was like, um, <laughs> this is only episode one, and you're making us feel this way? Okay. Yeah, dude. It is kind of cool that they brought back one of the, uh, the soldiers from, uh, Captain America, the first movie. Yeah. That was nice. It was nice for, uh, War Machine, too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, Show War Machine. Up. Yeah. I'm trying to not spoil it, but it's like, what other names can you not say what he is? I cannot say. It's nice to they they brought back the the African American Ole. Yeah. True. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Yeah, Rhodes. <laughs> Rhodey. Rhodey. Yep. Or Captain Planet to some people. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I I want him like in one, not episode, but in one. Marvel Cinematic Universe movie. He is cosplaying as Captain Planet. Mm -hmm. We're just going like, yeah, it's like a little, <laughs> little Easter egg kind of thing. It's like, how much did they pay you to do this? Like I'd say, like the Avengers have their own like little Halloween party for a movie scene, and then and then the yeah, you know, Rhodes is <laughs> Captain Planet for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> or he have to he has to be called something else. He have to be like Sergeant World or something. <laughs> something like that. yeah but still be like wow sergeant sergeant eco or something like eco-friendly <laughs> captain eco yeah captain eco yeah that, that, that works too yeah <clears throat> he's just basically like a co uh, a color swap <laughs> of captain planet or just reverse color yeah reverse it yeah like yeah reverse color exactly some sort <laughs> of palette swap that'd be funny yeah, then Ted Turner is going to be knocking on Disney's door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want my money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Protect the Earth. It's like, no. I don't think I will. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. We're back for 131, I believe. So, yeah, last one was 30, 130. We're old. Yes, we're we're getting old. <laughs> we're definitely getting old. <laughs> I don't like it. Every day we grow a little older. Just by a little smidge, we're we're getting there. I forget what the outside is. I forget what human interaction is. Yeah. <laughs> On memories. Yeah, we'll get there soon. We'll get there soon. Um, probably not. Probably like. For sure, like by the end of the year, but I do definitely want to say next year for sure, like absolutely. Three thousand years later. Three thousand years later. <laughs> yeah. Well, soon enough we'll. we'll... Read yeah. <laughs> ah! After ten thousand years. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> You're scaring the kids. <laughs> Let my monsters grow! <laughs> and then and this is how we learned that Hawk became a woman. <laughs> I, I am, in fact, uh, Rita Repulsa's, like, stunt double. <laughs> I'm the what? one who threw the, 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 the staff every fucking time. No. <laughs> no, you are the staff. I am the staff. <laughs> I, am the, I am the like, staff. Okay. <laughs> I am the staff. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, we're back though. Um, how you been, Zal? How you how you been hanging? Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Who is you? No. Why? Why is you? <laughs> why is Gamora? How's uh? How's work oh. been? Mm -hmm. I really wanted to throw a brick. <laughs> just grab a brick from the clearance the clearance section, and then just... it was pretty much. Hi, how can I help you? Oh, I don't need help. Oh, okay. 
five seconds later i need your help <laughs> oh god <laughs> are you like a, are you um like a greeter, greeter or something or you're just like no. you're just an associate uh, i'm in the front i'm a head cashier so oh nice nice mm -hmm. but again just hearing that was like you just said you didn't need help <laughs> you need help now yeah yeah you know, that's Turns how... out the guy was looking for something that we don't sell here on the island. You have to order it. Oh, no. And then he starts blaming me. Then why do you have it online if you cannot have it here? It's like, you know that Home Depot is from the the main I um the mainland, right? Yeah. Oh, I wish it was started here in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Please get out of my store. <laughs> yep. You're making me want to vomit. <laughs> we will have bricks vomited all over you if you uh, don't comply. <laughs> yes, these white bricks will magically turn red. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> uh, well... Um, anything else, um, besides, we, I mean, we were kind of just talking about Winter Soldier without trying to spoil things, but, you know, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, my back still hurts from watching four hours of the Snyder Cut, which is, which, to me, much more better. Which you, you said you weren't going to watch it in the well, last, I got curious. Yeah. <laughs> you got curious, yeah, yeah, you know, and you did put down money, so I'm like, you're really not going to get most of your, 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 you know your subscription like really like your six months yep, yep. so i watched it mm -hmm. and you said it was better i mean it had to be right yeah. the extra scenes actually made it much more better really okay okay i actually I don't really... know why people are like complaining and stuff yeah i think well I've, what from what i've heard because i haven't watched it just yet but um from what i've heard the biggest com the most common complaint i've heard about was the four by th the four the four three uh oh, yeah, yeah. the four three hole that, yeah that threw me off even though in the beginning it said like um this future is in four by three to encompass the vision of Zack snyder and i was like how what TV does he have at home? <laughs> does he Maybe... not have widescreen? Hello? It's called the, the Snyder Cut because he cut off the bars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. But yeah, um that seems pro okay, so that sounds promising. Uh just from that. I mean I've heard I I I've been and yeah, I've been hearing good things for the most part for people who have watched it and uh have not spoiled it luckily for me um on twitter so um so that's good i guess uh i just gotta prepare my my diaper and stuff for for four hours <laughs> i mean it didn't even feel like four hours because the way he made it is just broken up into uh chapters oh okay and there is like online like how long each chapter is and you know when when you do watch it, it doesn't really feel like it. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually good. Because it's kind of like, you know, like how Avengers Endgame was like three hours and people were like, yeah. Oh, then once you actually watch Avengers. Yeah, it doesn't like, feel like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, wait, what happened? It's yeah, like, it, it's over. <laughs> yeah, I was it, I was definitely like somewhat intimidated by the three hour thing for Endgame. But once you, yeah, like once I watched it, I watched it. Uh, definitely, definitely did not feel like it. So yeah, hopefully, I think that'll be the case for uh, in, uh, uh, I was to say Injustice. Oh my God, <laughs> uh, Justice League, uh, the Snyder Cut. Once uh, I get that, get around to it. But damn, if if uh, Injustice happens for uh, you know, the, uh, DCU or the the cinematic universe, whatever, uh, that would be pretty. That would be pretty interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, but who do they talk to? Is it Ed Boon? Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, isn't wait, isn't Injustice from the comics, right? Like mostly from the comics or did it did it just pull just the name from uh, I don't know. I think they just pulled the name, yeah. So it's not yeah, exactly it's, like It's been 3000 years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but any any uh anywho, um anything else uh besides 
uh, Winter Soldier and Justice League and Is it Thursday? No, is it Friday yet? Can I please buy my shit? <laughs> Can I please buy my processor? That's the only thing that's missing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're uh, pretty much almost there for the PC, right? So he's got that one part, the most important part. <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cry when it comes in. And then if it doesn't fit, I'm just going to stare at my friend going like, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna murder somebody, excuse me. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully that goes well. Hopefully that goes well for your PC, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but if, you, if, you, if that's, uh, that's all for you. Um, I uh, got battle styles coming in. In fact, there's a good amount of them behind me. Um, I opened my first... Open uh, one right now. No, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll just show you what I got so far. So I got, I got this. Right. This. <laughs> this. <laughs> and then this. <laughs> Another. And you see, kids, this is what happens when a uh, child has a stimulus check come in. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> they don't invest it, you know, to like their savings. Or I invested. I invested <laughs> into some stocks. Thank, thank you very much. Your yours truly <laughs> has become a stonk boy. All right. Thank you very much. I'm doing it through a web also. Yeah. They 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 just buy they just buy you know Pokemon cards. All of them. I all of them. all the all the stonk people. All the stonk boys got uh, get um Pokemon cards. <laughs> Yeah, including the people at like hedge funds and like all those Wall Street journal journalists yep. and stuff like that. Yeah, dude, uh, it's all it's all Pokemon cards. That's what they do put. In. <laughs> Doing stops is just a it's just a, a cover. Yeah, yeah, it's just a um, it's like a money money laundry <laughs> operation. <laughs> makes up it's cover Pokemon cards. <clears throat> but um, yeah. Anyway, um, I opened my first booster box and got some pretty good pulls. Uh, I got Phoebe. The phobia full art who is the hula the hula dancer looking elite four member uh who uses ghosts he is not going to sell any of these cards <laughs> yeah no <laughs> maybe no, some maybe dupes but no i mean beyond that no there's no such thing as the dupes <laughs> you keep everything you keep yeah you keep the dupes you keep everything yeah yeah um i i'm I mean, I had to buy like a couple boxes for uh, my card storage, so but that's that's been helping me out quite a bit. But uh, once that gets once that gets filled up, I have to decide whether to just throw them away or try to see if I can sell the bulk to like a online retailer store thing. So let's see how that works out. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you probably get like a couple dollars back in profit, but uh, I rather try to. Uh, what you call like give it to somebody then you know and lose some money mm -hmm. like a little bit then like just throw them away you know what I mean because someone someone plays the game and I just don't want to like just throw away cards you know what I mean? even though there I mean yeah there are a lot out there sure um, when it comes to just cards themselves but, but when it comes to like actually buying the boxes and the collector stuff uh, still a little tough was still a little tough. Uh, the supply is coming in a little uh, here and there, but yeah, you know, people still want Pokemon cards like crazy and all that stuff. So yeah, still a little tough, but we'll get there. We'll get back. We'll, we'll probably get back into the normal sort of uh, difficulty of you know <laughs> buying cards. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anywho, I did watch. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier myself, so yeah, um It sucks. <laughs> I actually really do like it though. Like I thought um I I was like, oh man, it's gonna be some filler of bullshit. Like it's it's just Winter Soldier Winter Soldier and Falcon, like who cares, you know? Um bit of a, a naysayer in that, but I actually really do like how um the story is pacing for right now. Um a lot of cool things are kinda set up and uh actually one part Really tug my strings, you know the the heart strings a, a bit. I'm like, oh man, poor poor guy. Uh, anyway, um, 
I, it, it's actually well shot. Um, the beginning was like really good. You know, there's a really good scene with Falcon just doing his thing as <clears throat> he's fighting some bad guys. Blah blah blah. Um, yeah, it's actually well, well, well shot. There's, a, there's actually a good amount of like shits thrown in there. You know what I mean? Like they say shit like a, a good amount of times. I'm like, I'm actually pretty surprised. It's, it's their first, I think, rated R. Yeah, I think so. Or actually, so I think they're testing the the, the waters. Yeah, I think they're testing the waters because apparently Deadpool is supposed to be part of the MCU soon. Yeah, so like. You can't bring just or kids can't watch it themselves. I mean, people bring their kids anyway. Like you know, what I mean, there's yeah. a lot of like families and shit. Uh, bring their family. Or hey, Jimmy, you want to go watch Halloween? <laughs> you want to go watch uh, the Human Centipede? <laughs> I wonder. I don't kid about that. My friend who used to work at at one of the theaters here when that movie came out, he saw a family of five. The kids' ages were ranging from, like, 10 to, like, 4 years old. And I'm like, please tell me they were watching something family-friendly. Yeah, the human centipede. Okay, those kids are going to uh, have a messed up night for the next three weekends. Yeah, right. They're probably going to be kind of afraid of the dark and uh, afraid of certain certain things you know like a like um some stitching for example like you know like <laughs> stitching or doing the conga yeah yeah at oof. parties oof, oof. <laughs> oof. anyway uh i i like you know funny you say that too like when deadpool came out i saw i've seen like uh when i went to go watch it there were literally like two full families like with their kids and everything like watching it like it's nothing i'm like wow you uh you really did it <laughs> And seeing how the movie turned out, I'm like, wow. Well, I mean, as long as the kids know what, how to decipher things, like, all right, I mean, <laughs> otherwise it's kind of questionable, but, you know, hey, not the parent, you know, so I guess I don't get to make those uh, choices for them, but do you, uh, do you really think it's right to bring kids like that? their age and uh bring them to movies like deadpool or uh hor- gory like horror movies like the saw stuff like you know what i mean <laughs> when when do you draw the line you know when do you draw the line a lot mm-hmm. a very a very lot. a very thick line <laughs> should be drawn very very thick line it's not even a thick line so. <laughs> it's just it's a like big a blob right yeah <laughs> <laughs> don't not pass this but that's it's everywhere yeah don't pass it <laughs> I just saw your uh, your DM <laughs> finally watch Justice League on the, <laughs> the Game Boy <laughs> I mean it's it's 4-3 so I mean, it might fit <laughs> like <laughs> alright uh, anyway um, that's what we've been doing like me watching Falcon Winter Soldier, pretty good. I recommend uh, recommend it initially. I, I mean, the first episode was good, so it seems promising for right now. I hope, I hope they kind of do the sort of the opposite with um, uh, One Division, where the the beginning part was um, like different, right? And then this one's more like a little familiar and yet you know well well done. And then by the end of it, it should, hopefully will be like something like actually um adding to the saga or the universe kind of unlike wandavision unfortunately like to me anyway in my opinion like yeah it is somewhere it is going somewhere sure but like a lot of like expectations were um not met (laughs) at least for me anyway well you didn't know that captain falcon and mental soldier is uh Captain Falcon. <laughs> Captain Falcon. <laughs> wow. But you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier is only six episodes, right? I think so. Yeah, I believe that's that's the yeah. word on the street. Yeah. So. So good luck. Yeah. To cram. Mm-hmm. Yep. Anyway, um, anything else for me? Um, I've been. Uh, I got a new camera, which is a. Uh, been treating me pretty well for right now 
Uh, it's the Sony A6400. You want to get me your old camera, right? <laughs> do, you, do you want my camera? <laughs> I don't know how old is the damn camera. Uh, it's a, a Lumix G85 from Panasonic. I bought that like two years ago. What now? I want to say two to three years ago. You made it sound like it was old, old. <laughs> I mean, they, they got kind of outdated real quick. At, at, well, at least at this time. Yeah, because technology and like this one has like a flip screen. It's got better autofocusing and all that stuff. I mean, the Panasonic cameras are, are kind of infamous for having a hard time autofocusing stuff. So that's uh, kind of a kind of unfortunate, but... I mean, it's good for everything else, but otherwise, if you want, like, a vlogging camera, like, you hold it in front of your face and, like, you know what I mean? Like, you, you know, where you you definitely want the autofocusing to happen. Um, not ideal. But if you want to take pictures and some, or, or a lot of, like, B-roll footage and such that look nice, then, yeah, you know, it's, yeah, it, it'll work. Uh, it's got the nice micro four, uh, four thirds yeah that's what it's called um which means your lenses are lenses are smaller and they'll uh ideally will have a smaller body so that way it's not too too bulky or whatever but you know you know the sony you can't go wrong with it you can't go wrong wrong with sony it's a lot more flexible i like it so far so anyway uh but yeah i think that's pretty much it you know i got more cards coming in more uh, pokemon cards coming in uh this coming week so can't wait for that. And uh, yeah, you know, so been able to get some cards at MSRP. So been uh, been feeling good. Been fe feeling pretty good. So anyway, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So let's uh, jump right into the news of things. Uh, this one, funny enough, I did talk about it with Zal earlier. I thought we talked about this, but we didn't. Um, I'm pretty sure we didn't. Cause uh, we did we cause we do talk about loot boxes throughout our uh, podcast and such so much that you you kind of tend to uh, lump those things together. This time um, we're talking about the article that someone at Kotaku put out thought that this was a good take, but um, for a lot of people it really isn't. Um, it was talking about the Pokemon Go eggs not being loot boxes. And pretty much this guy, or this writer, was trying to justify um, the, whatchamacall, uh, the eggs being uh, <laughs> um, fun presents, well, you know. So what does that sound like to you, Zawa? I have no idea who you're talking about, no, what you're talking about, sir. <laughs> 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 is it EA? Is EA coming back? Are they trying to take over Pokemon Go? I mean, I don't know about that, but maybe they took some notes from EA. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, let me let me see if my surprise mechanics is working. Let me let me, let me check. Let me check. Oh my god! <laughs> do you still do you still play Pokemon Go? Oh! Oh! Wow! Look! Surprise mechanic! <laughs> what egg? Is, what? What? Well, who? Who coming? Who coming out? Damn! You got a Galarian Meowth. <laughs> Damn! Wait. Let's check its appraise. Ah, uh, it's only a two star. Goodbye. Yeah. Transfer. You're becoming candy. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, um yeah. Oof. Yeah, big big oof. Um any any other comment you want to give out? Like when it comes to these eggs that, you know, you get from Pokémon Go. Yes, it's not like in the traditional sense like in the Pokémon game that you mm -hmm. know what the Pokémon is. It's mm -hmm. more like like to me it's a reward because, you know, in order for them to hatch, you got to walk. Yeah, but so it's kind of like that, that that little like here you go, thank you, thank you for exercising today. Mm -hmm. Here's your here's your freebie Pokemon. Yeah, um, 
it really depends on how you look at things, I guess. So, yeah. like, on one hand, yeah, you can walk it, right? You can walk your way to hatching the eggs, but at the same time, there are ways to hatch them faster. But guess what? Getting the better what it, incubators, right? Which will, yeah. which you have, you can buy with real money, and then uh, these egg Pokemon tend to have better stats than the the this the regular wild Pokemon. So there's sort of that mm -hmm. uh, incentive to uh, hatch them faster. Try to hope they have good stats, or you you want to hope like what kind of Pokemon you get or whatever. But yeah so um it's like um reminiscent of uh azure lane where you build your units and uh which is basically summoning and then you have a set time uh for whatever unit so if you if you summon the unit that you wanted you know you kind of know by the timer and you have to wait for um for example like there's a unit like a five star unit or whatever the ssr unit that will get built in six hours but you can't you have these uh quick finishers which yes of course you can buy with real money and such so it's to me it's it's reminiscent of azure lane so in a way yeah i mean they kind of are loot boxes in some sense so um it's like it's hard to, to me to me it's hard to justify um or hard to see from the guy's point of view. Like, I can't yep. find myself agreeing to him a whole, a whole lot. I kind of know where he's coming from. But as someone who has dealt with a bunch of gotcha stuff at this point from multiple mobile games, it's like, yeah, you know, this is something I've immediately recognized, like, as a loot box sort of mechanic or a slot machine sort of mechanic. And, like, it, yeah, it's just it's just hard hard to like try to um, make it look like it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no way that you can like just uh, sugarcoat it at this point in in time. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. It's pretty much you got you just gotta take it for what it is. And if you don't like if you don't like it, then don't you know then don't use it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um. I mean. He, I, I think he does say like, oh yeah, you don't have to do it or whatever. But there is, there is a sort of an incentive to do it because, like I said, like, um, the the egg Pokemon tend to be better than the wild Pokemon. So, of course, you yeah. kind of want that extra little edge to, you know, beat your opponents in PvP or PVE or whatever. You know, make yourself f feel good. I was about to say, does anyone still play PvP mode in Pokemon Go? I mean, I guess there are people who do. I mean, uh, I mean, is that is that mechanic still around where you still have to defend your gyms and such? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, there is an incentive. <laughs> but then, like, to me, about you know, it is the getting the chance of um whatever Pokemon pops out. But then, to me, it's like. At this point in the game, from my my part of playing Pokemon Go, if I don't like the Pokemon and it's not a male, I trash it. It's like, hey, goodbye. I know your you were your IV was like oh perfect all around. You're not male. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, it's, um, yeah. It's hard to say. I mean, Pokemon. I forgot which one. I have. I'm sorry. What? Sorry, I'm thinking, oh, okay. I forgot which Pokemon that I, I it's a shiny. Uh-huh. Three star. But the move that it had, I did not like. So I was like, mm, oh. shiny. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So now that shiny is actually in Sword and Shield. Because you know you can yeah. transfer it. You can transfer from, so yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm like, uh, you you won't be good to me here in Pokemon Go. Go over there. Yeah. Be be useful. <laughs> I wonder how their stats like fare when you actually put them in a regular main Pokemon game. You know. Um, they said like, say it's a in Pokemon Go, it's like a almost a perfect IV. Some 
some attributes of it will transfer transfer over, but it's not gonna be fully. Mm. Yeah, because I imagine like getting uh that perfect um IV sort of Pokemon is quite different from Pokemon Go versus the like, main Pokemon game. So that's why um I thought like, hmm, I wonder how they actually translate from Pokemon Go to the main game, like Sword and Shield, for example. Hmm. I want I like, I wonder if it, if it's something like uh, that could potentially be broken, or that could be part of the meta or something to uh, make the incentive like, yeah, to pl keep playing Pokemon Go in order to play, uh, keep up with the Sword and Shield meta. But I guess not, since no one has really talked about that or made an article or made any guides about it. Like, hey, you should play Pokemon Go in order, if you're, in order for you to uh, get the best Pokemon with the stats and all that stuff. But. Either way, um, I think it's yeah, uh, it's it's hard it's hard to like um, get behind this person who is trying to say that these are just fun presents and stuff like that. They're surprise mechanics, you know. That's what it, pretty much what what it winds down to. It's that same similar situation <laughs> with um, EA with their representatives at. During a what is it a court hearing or something like that? I forget what was what that situation exactly took place. But you know, there's that lady who said the infamous words. They're 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 fun. They're surprise mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I I think they are. Um, this is my point of view anyway. I mean, say what you will, but there is still, um, sort of that scumminess behind it. Where, yeah, you know, you definitely are better um, once you spend some money and do you, you get to like hash these eggs faster and blah 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 and all that stuff. You know, uh, again, it's very reminiscent of games like Azure Lane, for example. So, therefore, to me anyway, um, they kind of fall into that same category as uh, loot boxes. So, uh, any final words on this uh, before we move on? Just play the game as as you want to. As you can, if you want to, yeah. If you don't have money, then you know, um, you can still get by. I'm sure. You know, there's the that free to play way, and then of course there's the whaling. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's free, the F two P's versus the whales. <laughs> there, there's always. We're not that that much of a whale, right? <laughs> right. We're we're probably like tuna. <laughs> Uh, we get eaten by the whale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, the, we're 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 just uh, pristine uh, uh, yellowfin tuna. Get ready, get ready to get Let's eaten see, by. Now you're making me hungry. <laughs> that I will leave this <laughs> this podcast to just get food, right? <laughs> all right, all and right. Then eat it mm -hmm. in front of you. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you're gonna tug on my heartstrings like that? Yes. Yeah. All right. Anyway, that's pretty much the gist of things um, on that one. Uh, but anyway, meanwhile, in other news, Fall Guys uh, have teased that they're gonna have something unique, and they appear to gonna be having Among Us skins for Fall Guys. So what do you know? It's kind of almost coming in full circle in a way. Um, now, uh, what you call Among Us needs just needs to have like some form of like Fall Guys skin or something. Like maybe they'll have like a the, you know the the little guy or something be the Fall Guy or something like that. I think that'll be a pretty neat. That way it'll, it'll come. Uh, it'll, it'll all come full full circle. You know. These two games uh, took the gaming community by storm. Of course, more on uh, Among Us. You know that was uh, that was a big um, blow up. That was we all, we've all had a piece of it, <laughs> even me, Zal, of course. 
Don't remind me of that nightmare. <laughs> Trying to go logic with people and then they are just star craving mad. It's like, oh my god, never mind. You oh, did it! Talking. You did it! <laughs> Like I give you evidence that I'm innocent and you still kick me out. Okay, fuck you. Zao is sus. Zao is sus. You know pretty much. Zao is being quiet. He's sus. It's like I'm being quiet because everyone's talking over. Are you fucking fighting that? Yeah, yeah. The hell's wrong with you? Yeah, there's a lot of shouting and it's that's not my kind of kind of cup of tea. I can't. Uh, I'm a ter I'm a terrible imposter anyway. So. I will, uh, I will, uh, pass on that one. <laughs> what are you sniffing? There is nothing done. But, I... um, either way, uh, I think it's neat that if, uh, if this is actually true, then, uh, you know, we'll kind of almost get to see it full circle. Yep. Makes me wonder if Epic will next buy out um the developers from among us you know pokemon that's their next target yeah right <laughs> nintendo and whatever ain't gonna let go of that how much for your pokemon a lot of money how much does your company cost uh why because <laughs> now it belongs to me i'm batman here we go. There's so there's that uh, wad of cash. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can't turn it down. <laughs> Sir, these are bison dollars. Like, oh. But they will be worth something in the future. <laughs> like, oh, okay. How much do you value your life? Why? Time to send you to the Hunger Games. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that was on that. Uh, more on the controversial news of things. This is actually relating to uh, Genshin Impact. Um, so yeah, because uh, MiHoYo, the developers of the game, have come out and um have addressed things about the leaks that have been happening throughout its lifetime. Um, there has been so many of them, and that's how pretty much uh, a lot of players, or excuse me, um anyone uh prepare has prepared themselves to grind it out to get all the materials before that character even comes out because there's a, there has been a lot of data miners there's a lot of bit there's a lot of like the testers who broke their terms of uh the contract terms and they've leaked out all this information and now so mihoyo has has acknowledged this and so they're going to crack down on anything that will conv uh, will convey such behavior, and they are willing to take any legal action if they have to, if they must. They have the money because they they got so much money from well the players, you know. What I mean, so yep. all those whales and stuff like that who went and put that much money down for the staff of Homa, or as I like to call it, the staff of homeless. <laughs> so, um, they, 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 they are, they are not messing around. Um, you know, th there's been YouTubers that got on strikes. There's been YouTubers and content creators who have been kicked out from the main, uh, official discord from Genshin Impact. Um, they're, 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 they're serious about it. They're pre pretty serious about it. Funny enough, I was gonna talk about a, a certain leak that had like a bunch of characters in there, and um, you know w when this broke out, I'm like, yeah, fuck that, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be a part of that. So, um, <laughs> I I had to scrap it, you know. I even though I recorded and everything, like I had it, I had it ready to go edit and stuff. Uh, yeah, I fuck it, man. I I had to, I had to scrap it, man. I have no choice. I don't want to be a part of that. So, um, yeet. Mm -hmm, yeet. I did this, yeet that uh project out of there um it's uh yeah so what does it mean for the future of genshin impact so I, I i recently talked about it in a video and i think in my opinion um the way it's going if they don't take the correct course of action for their for their games um while you know some meaning some of the mini games are nice and fun and whatever right a lot of people are looking forward to the main content, the the actual like combat and such. 
you know, they don't like they don't do anything else with it. They don't make improvements so far. There hasn't been any other like good, big quality of life changes. Um, they're slowly fucking around with the resin, but you know, it could still use some more fixing. Uh, absolutely. Um, there hasn't been really much to it. Like you know, maybe got like one new boss that you can fight. That's it. Um, no, uh, they they haven't changed up the sort of the rewards for the bosses. They haven't like done. They haven't done a lot of things, and that's why people have sort of like that drive to try to like make the game um to that much more sort of palatable as much as, as possible. Because like characters are the only things right now that are like kind of changing up the game just because they have different abilities and roles and they uh, make certain fights easier or all of them easier depending on who who uh who you chase for so that's why um you know people who leak this stuff or who attain that information are just like all right you, you can grind for this item or this material these materials and that material in this amount uh, bef way before they even announce it so like that way you know like i said they, they can prepare for it they can grind it out all the way to their the release date of those characters so that way by the time they summon them they can level them up real quick they can uncap them they can level up their talents their skills whatever get them all maxed out all in the same day pretty much or within a few days and they can get it going and pretty much wipe the game or whatever it is they want to do um and that's that so it's like um it can ruin it for some people you know who who want to be surprised and stuff like that um i've had my opinion about leaks and such and such um in this situation though i do i do understand it because the game is very grindy you can only get so much out of the resin that you're given each day so they definitely have to change things up you know they have to either give you more rewards or give you more resin to recharge or give you a faster recharge rate on the resin you know stuff like that i mean there's a lot of things there's a lot of uh, factors that would help out and maybe people will um you know be won't be so harsh on the, wouldn't be so harsh on the game and you know what i mean like otherwise you'll have pe people leaving i mean you know so, which sucks, because I like the game for what it is. I really do. I've been playing it every day, pretty much. Almost every day. Um, you have an addiction, sir. Not as bad as some people, because I haven't wailed on it at all. <laughs> like, the only... Very good. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm definitely not one of those people who are going to put down... What is it, like, $2,000 or $3,000 for... The weapon banner, like no one, no one does that except for whales. Nobody, nobody does that. You know what I mean? I can see, oh yeah, the 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 whales going for the character banners, but even when there are people who do the weapon banners, it's like, oh dude, and like the drop rates are bad, the pull rates are bad. Oh my god, like it makes me glad I didn't put down any money for that. You know, yep. yeah. Anyway, so that was my little uh, little rant on it. It's unfortunate, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, um, things work out. But you know, you know, like, um, it's one thing that they say and address the whole leak thing, but they haven't addressed the other big issue, which is the security of people's accounts, because people have had their accounts hacked and their stuff like deleted the weapons have been uh thrown away or destroyed or thrown into like for example like uh the hackers would get into their someone's account and literally throw the five star weapons into the three star weapon and so it's gone so that's like you know that's, that's a fucked up shit now granted there are some dumb people out there who think it's a good idea to look at those emails that say hey i'm a i'm a content creator uh, if you give me your information, I can, uh, review your account, and, um, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> you're shaking your head, I see you, and, uh, you know, I can review your account, make it even better, you know, the, 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 
some of the, some of the situations I've heard, but there are people who unfortunately are, get hacked from people who just are just malicious and and uh, yeah, Mil um, Mihoyo has an answer to that. So it's like, you know what I mean? They they're it seems like they, they, they you know yeah the leaks are kind of a problem too, but uh, he haven't answered the the security side of things. So. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's quite a bit going on. Um, don't want to spend too much time on it, but how? I mean, you know, when it comes to leaks in general, how how do you feel about them? Like, do you do you like having leaks, or do you rather have just be surprised by whatever announcements or whatever characters come to this fighting game, or um, I mean, whatever game you're playing at the time, like Apex, for example, like if like people data mine the game and somehow find these characters and such, would you rather see them and kind of prepare for you know you know prepare your money or materials or whatever it is? I mean, I, I know you don't you don't have to grind for materials in Apex because it's a shooter, but um, nah, like to me when it comes to something like that, I I just write it out. Like I'll see it and I'll be like, oh. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Cause if it, if it is like something like in a game that I really care about, like let's say Faco and mm -hmm. you know, or someone data mine, like um this servant is coming like months in advance than originally planned, then yeah, maybe I'll stock up, but then truth be told, I'm gonna forget about it. Yeah. True. Like uh, how I forgot, like I didn't really forget, but I was anticipating. Um, what was he? I keep forgetting his name. Uh, Mothman, the the recent um oh. ruler. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. I was about. banking that he was going to come at the end of the month, but he came in like what, the middle of the month, right? Mm -hmm. oh, I think so. Yeah, yeah. A little earlier, because. Like, mm. Cause I know you sent me a DM saying that I got it, mm -hmm. and I was already in the shower when I was doing that, and I was like, "This motherfucker!" <laughs> so for thirty minutes, I'm pulling in the shower, and I'm like, <laughs> "I need to get out of here," but I need to get this guy. <laughs> if I don't, if I don't pull this guy, I will be a prune. <laughs> It's like if I don't pull this guy out, <laughs> our water bill is gonna be skyrocketing. Yeah, um, <laughs> I won't be able to pay the water bill. <laughs> well, there goes, there goes. Um, I think, I think I only paid the one that costs sixty bucks. Oh, parts, okay. And then I got him. Uh huh. That's like, like okay, I can come out now. Woo! That's like. Wait, is that the twenty three dollar one? Or is that the one? That, is that the next higher up one? Like forty? Is that the, like the forty five dollar one or whatever? I don't know. All I remember is paying sixty bucks. Okay. Huh. I'm trying to look up the the servant that you're referring to. I because hold on. Um, I I did kind of want to log in anyway. So two birds one stone. But anyway, uh, the servant you're talking about is, oh. Ching Ching Shi Huan, <laughs> this 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 mofafel right here. For those who are watching, <laughs> cool. Ching, uh, yeah, Ching Shi Huan, Huang. Anyway, Huang, Huang. Yeah. Uh, so you say you you would just write it out. You said yeah, I'll just write it out. Like I'll I'll see it. Mm -hmm. Then. I'll just write it out because again I'll, I'll probably forget about it. Yeah. And then if I see it again, I'm like, oh wow, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Who are you again? <laughs> <laughs> Who? <laughs> you know, hey, I'm the I'm Star Lord. You, you know, Star Lord. Who? <laughs> 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 huh? Um. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to other things, uh, for leaks in general, I rather just be surprised because I do, you know, um, I like the feeling of stuff being announced on that day of and be like, whoa or whatever, and uh, you know, which uh, has been more, more, more or less um, frequent when it comes to like Smash Brothers, 
uh, Street Fighter, which they have been in Data Mine, thankfully. Um, you know, stuff like that. So, to me, in general, leaks is something I'd rather stay away from. But in this game, you can't help it because, like, this game is so grindy. It's, it's hard to um, get all the stuff uh, within the same week as the game or the character comes out. Because the resin, the amount of wards you get, and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, they need to really um, improve on that, in my opinion. Um, make it more fun for the things you got to do for living up characters. Make it more satisfying. And uh, not to mention, you know, um, people like start to save up courts. And people will summon on... Or don't summon on certain banners, and they're gonna start to look at the banner and be like, "Hmm, I wonder why they're not summoning on this banner." Hmm, <laughs> you know, because they know <laughs> that character is gonna be way far um, ahead. You know what I mean? Like, so there was this um, lovely lady. Let's just say, you know, I'm not gonna show uh, tell her name or, or say, say her name, but there was another lovely lady, you know, coming uh, eventually, and people, people, and because people know it already, or they're gonna start saving their courts. So. You know, Miho are gonna be looking at that one banner that's out right now, which is like the Ven Venti banner, for example, which, in my opinion, is not really a banner for me to chase for, anyway. But they're gonna not even do that, like even more. So it's like, well, wow, um, no one barely someone on th on this banner. I wonder why, you know. So yeah, cause they, cause they, cause they know. <laughs> so that's why, um, uh. They're, they're after people and stuff like that. Now, they do have a right. Yes, they. Um, I'm not going to hawk on them for that. You know, I understand that they they, got, they do what, what they got to do to take action to, you know, get, uh, take care of the situation. And, um, yep. yeah. Uh, they even they even said in their um, terms of service, like, it's, like, made clear uh, that if, um, if you... Uh, make inf uh, make any like content around information that has not been public um that definitely is a violation so therefore they have some sort of right to take an action against you so um definitely uh content creators will uh probably have a harder time to talk about things but hopefully um you know we can all kind of write out the situation so i think uh at that point, we just have to wait and see. I think it, it'll definitely be, it'll definitely affect uh, players in the long term. Uh, it, it'll be a little harder to be stay to stay sort of excited for a longer time because the only thing exciting is the characters, you know. So, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, sure there there's has been the updates for one point four and stuff like that, but. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna all gonna turn out for beyond. Uh, let's just say hypothetically speaking, one point seven or all, uh, somewhere past two point oh. You know, even we'll have to see. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, um, let's get on to the next thing. Sorry about that. Uh, meanwhile, we did talk about Avengers. Uh, from Crystal Dynamics, you know, Marvel's Avengers. They came out with the uh, roadmap for what Why? is in store for the future. Why? They're in, they're persistent. It seems like it turns out looks looks like it turns out that um you know they are still working on the game somehow, despite the um negative feedback that they got from the you know the whole XP changes that they're uh, overhauling for some reason for the worst they're still going at it so uh, according to this we're going to get Hawkeye a very boring looking Hawkeye in my opinion and uh is that wait is it uh do you know do you know what's uh what's the sword behind this version of Hulk oh war Hulk Hulk just drew <laughs> To come that set really badly. Hulk became super strong, super old, kind of king, ma king of the world, pretty much. Oh. And he became smarter, so that's without spoiling <laughs> a very condensed, like, 
He became this. Ta da! I see. Okay. So what? Uh, and what is it called? World Hulk. Yep. Okay. World Breaker Hulk, I believe. World Breaker. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think. I think. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So like in March. Yeah. We'll get uh, the free upgrade and stuff like that as well as uh, as well as the new hero. There's a new villain, some new story. Um, reassemble campaign replay apparently. Um, the harm room uh, being customizable. Uh, there's and there's more stuff coming in spring. Uh, probably involving with some like missions, I imagine. Um, uh, you can, that you can play with friends, I think. And then um, there's a Red Room Takeover, which will have new outfits and such. Uh, more, is that a new story with uh, the Cosmic Cube? I, because from what I can understand, uh, looks like it's the um, the scientist whose spoilers has survived um, the aftermath of that story. And then uh, let's see, and then. There's a new mission, looks like, and then the 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 big one will probably be uh, Wakanda, uh, which of course features uh, the Black Panther. Uh, new power, uh, level cap increase, new villains including Claw, new Claw faction enemies, new story, new Wakandan jungle biome, and new outpost. So, um, in addition to that, there's going to be more missions after. Uh, during in between there's going to be um post level 50 progression outfits from the cinematic universe uh balance gear progression uh which i hope they change that part for the better um collectible comics system and matchmaking All, all I can say is good luck, <laughs> and I hope it's players. Good luck, and yeah, yeah, but good luck, and um, they're missing one Avenger that they said was supposed to come out this year. Why did they go out guess on it? Spider Man. Yep. <laughs> Where the fuck is he in this um roadmap? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Now that you bring it up, it's like. Where is he? <laughs> we didn't, like do, do we, we? Like he promised us. Yeah, there, there's gonna be Spider Man, right? Like, what? Where is he? Where's the trailer? <laughs> uh, he dead already. He, he did. He got snap. Yeah. <laughs> um. He got snapped. Yeah. No. Mo Modok um killed him off screen. <laughs> That's what happened. Spider Man. Spider Man had to go back to his home planet <laughs> somehow, and then he go whoop. <laughs> you, you remember um. The the itchy and scratchy scene with the with the dog and uh what's his name like Pooch or something like Poochie yeah Poochie Poochie and uh you know <laughs> you see the animation cell like whoop like so bad but you know that was the intention but <laughs> yep he had to go back to his home planet <laughs> whoop that sound effect anyway that's what happened to Spider Man I'm I'm pretty sure that's what happened to Spider Man. <laughs> He did. He did. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there was there's actually speaking of trailers, there was a trailer uh, referring to the Wakanda stuff. Let me just uh, bring up a little bit. Doctor Rappaccini, I read your proposal. I must admit, I'm disappointed. Can you hear that, by the way? You have the men. You have yep. The okay. Is that Stephen Bloom? It sounds like someone else, but kind of sounds like him too. Avengers, where's me? Avengers, with me? No, hmm. thank you. What if? Right. What if he said Avengers Assemble? Because like the main story, he did Captain America didn't even say it at all. It's like what the fuck, man. <laughs> God. Nope. Let me see. Let me check out the voice again. Hold on. You have 
Okay, I, I will listen to you. All you need now is me. Full scale invasion. So, you get me the army. I'll get you the vibranium. Sincerely, Claw. Huh. So that was Claw talking. But I wonder if, uh. Yeah, Stephen Bloom is gonna be behind the voice. It sounds, it does sound like him, but I don't, I don't want to. Doctor Rappuccini. Yeah. I read your proposal, and I must admit. Doctor Rappuccini. Rappuccini. Fettuccini. Fettuccino. Fettuccini. All you need now is Tor Torolini. <laughs> invasion. Amini. <laughs> you get me the army. Yeah, all right. So anyway, that's the trailer. Uh, are you look? Are you? Did, were you looking up uh, IMDb or something, or 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 were you looking at something else? No, I was I was listening for it, and I think that is Steve. It does sound like him. Yeah, I want to say it is, but there could be people who do try to imitate that voice, but. <laughs> I mean, we could we could just go on Twitter right now and just uh, tag him. We're like, did you see this? Yeah, all right. <laughs> His voice. Are you Claude's voice? Mm hmm. There's no wrong answers. Uh, okay. Let me see if there if that information is public. Hold on. Uh, Avengers Claw. Hold on, guys, just real quick. Mm hmm. Uh, let's see. Intermission. Intermission, intermission. Um, and then the media. Let me see. Video game, video game, video game. Let's see. Let's see. Avengers Assemble. That's not it. Where's the video game stuff? Come on, man. <laughs> Bruh. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's not there. Ooh. I am DB. Okay. Oh, I think my dog's barking. <laughs> uh, okay, I found the Marvel's Avengers thing. Uh. Let's see if it's listed on IMDb. Uh, full cast. Probably isn't public just yet, so maybe we won't find out tonight. Yeah. Now listen on there, nor claw isn't in uh listen on there just yet. From what I can see anyway. Uh yeah. Let me see if uh Bloom's Twitter has anything to do with that. Well, Zawa is uh stepping out from the moment. Looking, uh, oh, never, never mind. He's back. Okay, he's back. Okay, um, I died. I'm, I live, I die, I live again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where's Steve? Where's Steve Bloom's Twitter? Maybe he sent, maybe he did say something about it. Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, uh, yeah, he sent, he said something about Toonami. <laughs> Funny enough, <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so when was this trailer out? Let's check that. Uh, the 18th. So that was two days ago. So, yeah, he hasn't said anything either. So, it's not public. We don't know. And uh, it sounds like Steve Bloom. We'll say that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, thought I put that out there. So, anyway, let's go get a move on with the other bit of news. Um, All right. Sony has released a the brand new or not released like revealed excuse me 
the brand new controller for the VR um, side of things. So PlayStation VR has this as their controller now, which is um, uh, where is the other tweet? Oh, there you go. Looks interesting enough. It looks like um, one of the orbs you kind of see from uh, Genshin Impact. But <laughs> anyway, looks interesting. What do you think of the design? Are you gonna punch somebody? Yeah, they kind of look like uh, like futuristic boxing gloves or something. Maybe that's why. Um, also, Cyberpunk is um not working as well because there's their controller. Oh yeah, this is the actual controller for it. So like, yeah, it's it's actually meant to play in virtual reality. <laughs> yeah. No, you can never be a samurai. It looks like this to me, the ring or whatever, um, looks like something that'll like scan your hand or something or track your hand. So that way maybe like it'll like track your finger movement or like your wrist or something like that. Or it seems like it. I mean, otherwise it's probably just design purposes. True. Could be also for like motion detecting. Yeah. Like the giant, like the giant, like there's just a general like circuit circulating sort of gyro motions and such yep interesting from a a design standpoint but uh yeah i mean looks cool but maybe i don't know uh i thought about it too like i'm I'm, I'm like hmm maybe maybe i should uh if i am going to invest into vr maybe it'll be the playstation vr headset i don't know what about you have you ever thought about um Especially once you get your rig all set up sometime after that, are you going to start considering VR as well? No, Mm. I will. I'll keel over. I can't handle 3D. Yeah. um, I thought about that too. (laughs) Like, I'm like, hmm, if I do invest in uh, invest in VR though, would it be a waste of money? Because I get, I I, like the last time I tried it, I got, I got motion sickness. (laughs) Um, I, I tried it. Um, Funhouse when I was an intern once upon a time and I was swinging like Spider-Man and uh, let's just say my body wobbled with the physics or tried to wobble with the physics so that was kind of jarring and uh felt a little dizzy so yeah <laughs> very um yeah, nope I'm gonna throw up very uh vomit inducing kind of <laughs> depending on who you are it's kind of like um it's like a weird sailboat almost sort of sensation. Sail? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's got adaptive tr- triggers, of course. Uh, haptic feedback, of course. Uh, finger touch uh, detection. There's tracking, of course. Um, and, of course, your usual buttons. So, very interesting. Wonder how that will turn out. Hopefully, um, they won't come out with the... Drifting problem that uh, apparently the PlayStation controller is starting to have. <laughs> Dream. 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, are they going to be like Nintendo? Will be like. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it away and buy a new one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have your stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> Now give it to me. <laughs> your no, check. Thank you. Your stem is mine. <laughs> your stem is mine. <laughs> Sing, no, thank you, please. <laughs> Imagine fucking Shang Tsung <laughs> pointing at you. Your stem check is mine. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Enough of the, the dumb jokes. Um. Meanwhile, Cyberpunk. Has come out. Is dead. I hope not, but uh, they've come out with uh, some news about a, a patch that's. Has it come out today or? Skip. Uh, <laughs> skip this. It seems My like kitty. it's. <laughs> it seems like it's either out or going to be out soon. Anyway, uh, upon sort of the first sort of glance at the title i'm like "Ooh, they fix the cops they get fixed the cars uh when it comes to the cops themselves what they've actually fixed 
was just the spawning distance of the cops. So nothing, really. It was, so it basically, it was kind of a, like a small-ass band-aid to a shotgun wound. <laughs> so, I mean, while, yeah, that's a problem, like, you know, because, you know, I can kill someone in an alleyway, right, where there's no witnesses, and all of a sudden, right behind me, a fucking cop just spawns out of nowhere. I'm like, whoa, like, what the fuck did you come from, man? Like, how did you do that? <laughs> but, um... They were always there. They were always there. <laughs> you just didn't look... Yeah. You didn't look with your special eyes. <laughs> my, my cyber... My cyber eyes. <laughs> uh, so what... So how it'll work in this new update is they'll have a drone that will spawn behind you instead of a cop. And then... And then... Uh, and then once time sort of uh goes by if you still have stars then the cop the cops will spawn from far away and then they will come into the scene yeah and that face that you're making is kind of appropriate because it's like what about the ai <laughs> like did you actually fi fix the ai of the cops like no <laughs> so i think this video yeah so this video demonstrates and this is from the official Cyberpunk website, so this will demonstrate the uh why is it so shitty? Oh there you go. So so uh, after um this player kills the last NPC. There's a there's the drone right there. Just pops in just like out of nowhere like before. Um, let me see. Let me rewind a little bit. Or, yeah. It, it, it. Oh my god. Again, from reading this patch notes for the cops at the moment, they did not fix anything. Not really. It's just kind of like it's like a diversion almost. It's like a it's like a like I mean like I said, it's like a small bandaid on the shotgun wound. Like yeah, that was that's part of the problem, but it's not really the actual problem nope you know because the cops act stupid you know <laughs> like like okay you know you fix where the cops come from but did you fix what the cops are gonna do to you you know because you can literally just still run away on foot they're not gonna they're not gonna have their cars or anything like that to cut you off just like they would in gta you know it's just gonna be the same old shit. It's like, okay, you just came in from a farther distance, cool, but you're still gonna be the same exact cops from before. Yep. It's just that you're not gonna instant transmission behind my ass. Exactly. That's that's pretty much exactly what it is. Uh, but meanwhile, um, I like these changes a little better. As someone who did drive quite a bit in the game. So there's a comparison between um, the previous patch and um, the upcoming patch for when it comes to the car steering. So you can now actually adjust the sensitivity of the car. So see how the car kind of wobbles back and forth and then the one on the right kind of doesn't quite do that. Fast and furious. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. So yeah, I see how like the car kind of Jesus. Ugh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Where did you get your license, sir? Yeah. Well, that's pretty much what happens when you're driving a car in Cyberpunk. It was bad. It was really really shitty. Like, whoa, 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 oh, boof. <laughs> what do you mean? That, that's how I drive. <laughs> what do you mean? That's how like, I whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> God. Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder though, uh, are they driving at the same speed? Hold on, let me actually look at the speed uh, speedometer. Hold on. I guess, because in the initial clip. Okay, never mind. He's going. He's going downhill. Okay, hold on. Should get it. Yeah, it seems like in some parts he does slow down in the car on the right. So it could maybe I don't know. I mean, it all like it all matters when you actually play it, sure. But I don't yeah. know. In this demonstration, it just kind of seems like 
um, the person was actually driving slower. <laughs> so that's why I can turn better. <laughs> but but um, the the person is driving at the same speed right at the end of it. So, um, and this person did crash. <laughs> I don't know. It it all matter, I guess, when you start playing the game. But this is yeah. something you that that is a problem as well, and that's a obvious fix right here. So uh, there are scenarios where your car does get stuck, and um, once that happens, you're pretty much fucked. And that uh, makes me wonder, though, why is that car there too? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he was stuck, didn't move, didn't budge. But then, in this update, you can actually go wiggle back and forth, back and forth, like that. He's rocking back and forth. And look. And then car blows up. Yeah. <laughs> Boof. <laughs> that's the fix. That, yeah, that's the fix that they um, they added. It, you just, it's a blow, the explosive button. <laughs> Get wasted. Exactly. Um, let me see. I think that's it. Wait, hold on. It says up to your neural processors or die. What is that? What is that one? Let's see. I haven't seen this one yet, so this is new to me. Oh, right. Because um, dodge and crouch are the same button. So there are times where... <laughs> yeah. um you want to crouch but then it reads as a double input and uh <laughs> it uh makes you dodge so when you're trying to do a stealth you dodge and people be like what what is that and then you, you hear the the blip <laughs> <Boop. sighs> <laughs> <laughs> It's like 15 all over again where pick up and jump on the same damn button. <laughs> Noxus, please pick it up. Please stop. Stop jumping. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Ooh, did they get the same button mapping person from 15 to help work them? <laughs> I don't know. Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's a there's a TLDR which uh, basically says fewer cops randomly spawn behind you. Um, adjustments to the steer, the speed and steering to make the driving easier, including a sensitivity slider. Um, tweaks to make cars control better even when the frame rate dips. A uh, new unstuck feature, yeah. So that was the rocking back and forth when you hit the acceleration um, pedal. There is the yeah the option to turn off double tapping the movement key to dodge, and more options for the uh, W A uh, W A S D bindings for the keyboard. <clears throat> so for just the keyboard, kids, they say anything about controller? Nope, nothing on uh, nothing on console. And hey. How about them graphic fix? Oh wait. Yeah, um, they haven't. There has not been any word on uh, more fixes for certain quests, like me, for example, where my quest won't finish for some damn reason. Um, smoke on the water is it's the specific one I'm talking about. I can't literally finish it, like. What? <laughs> it won't let me finish, so I can't complete my side quests. Uh, well, yeah, okay, these are these fixes. Some of these fixes are good, like the driving, for example. That's fine. But uh, the cops, that's not enough. Um, the dodging thing, okay, that's good. That's that was very annoying. Yeah. But I, I, but the problem for me is that I don't use the keyboard. So that probably doesn't apply to me, but um, for those who do play on PC with keyboard, yay, and such. Wait, well, I mean, well, the option, yeah, but the 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 key binding stuff, yeah, that doesn't apply to me for sure. Dodging, yep. dodging will probably help me out uh, quite a bit. Um, but yeah, I guess it's mainly for the cars, is what we're getting at. 
here in my car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Like, with the cars that, well, with the funny videos that I've seen with Subway Punk and its cars, it's like, just leave it. No, God, just no. No. <laughs> There's still other glitches to get some comedic content out of. <laughs> Still, and, and, and I saw one. Re- I don't know how recent it was, but yeah. it was recent for me to look at it. Mm-hmm. the The player comes out of his car. Yeah, and I guess I guess the model, the player's um, avatar, just closes the door. But then all of a sudden, its body, the the car, just, just <laughs> slingshots to the other side. <laughs> Of the city, and I'm like, <laughs> nice enhancement. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of like hear if you boost up the volume. Like, I guess the NPC's screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, man, it's like the opposite of that one glitch I saw, where instead of you cause the car flying, the car flies. I don't know where at you pretty much like, woof, like what the fuck <laughs> it's like the opposite pretty much so you're like you're the one who launches the car instead of the car just randomly like launching out of nowhere and then almost hitting you or it does hit you <laughs> and then I don't know with some car glitches it's more fun to see that see what happens inside the car at first person because mm-hmm. it looked like the I think you've seen it before the avatar is driving, but there's like five or four different pairs of hands. Yeah. All over the steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think I've had that happen to me actually once. And, uh, I, I had two, but uh, also, but 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 um, I've also had a, uh, a glitch where I was pretty much like my, like my champ. Like like I have I had the arms like this, and then uh, another set of arms holding the gun. So I'm like, what the fuck. <laughs> I'm it's like, like, this isn't that enhancement <laughs> I purchased, right? <laughs> I, well, let's see, what's more funny, with, when the person was turning the wheel, uh-huh. it wasn't like all of the arms and stuff moving. It was just one hand moving and the other just stayed at one place. And I was like, it's creepy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Get out of the vehicle. It is cursed. Yeah, there, there's also some subtle glitches where if... Yeah, um, it's it's like similar to the the Macham glitch. I, I'm I'm gonna call it, uh, where um, you're gonna you're holding one gun and then uh, and then the other pair of hands is holding another gun. So it looks like it's like very slightly off, but you can still see like the hands like not aligned somehow. So it's like a, a hands within hands, and then more and then yeah, it's like it's 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 a. Uh, very um <laughs> unsettling it's un unver- it's very unsettling still so yeah they're they're working on it still but uh yeah <laughs> there's still a lot of stuff they gotta work on still there there's still uh still a lot of improvement to be had we're still waiting on those uh big 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 uh, fixes. So hopefully that will come soon. Okay, so that was uh, it, it, just up on that. Um, there's still games. But again, oh go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say, uh, yeah, to close up for Cyberpunk. Yes. You know, thank you, Project Red, for not giving up on this game. <laughs> you guys are something else. Unlike uh, so thank you. yeah, unlike Bioware, unfortunately, where they had to uh, stop making uh, Anthem. 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 Or, I'm sorry, Modestiny. Modestiny, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It's, it sucks for the players who are looking forward to uh, Anthem, who put their hours and such, and they wanted to, the game to get that, like, uh, No Man's Sky sort of treatment. But, no. Um, there was a roadmap and everything, and they took that roadmap down. <laughs> Um, at some point and then EA or whoever uh, made it clear that hey um, we're not going to work on the game anymore that's it 
That's the that's so that's the end of the story. That is Anthem, unfortunately. Sucks to see, but um, you know, it is what it is. Yep. You hate to see it. Uh, but meanwhile, um, there's not a game canceled necessarily, but there was a game that got delayed, just like a lot of games nowadays. Uh, this time around now, it is Gotham uh, Knights. That was previously, I guess, um, announced for 2021, but they have delayed it to 2022. No, stop it. Hmm. Yeah. So uh, there was a Twitter from, I think it was... Uh, okay, so it's just a Gotham Knights Twitter account. We're giving the game more time, they said, to deliver the best possible experience for players. Thank you for for thank you to our amazing fans for the tremendous support for Gotham Knights. We look forward to showcasing more of the game in the coming coming months. So that's pretty much it. Very straightforward statement. Nothing else to it. They're just giving it more more time. Um, ooh, apparently, uh, according to Room B. There was going to be some live servicey things being considered, but hopefully they'll, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a game I, I'm i still looking forward to because, again, you get to play mostly the, uh, the Bat family. Mm-hmm. Only because, you know, Red Hood is apparently a, a playable character in this, in this game, but. Yeah. I'm to this point when when games are like game delayed and stuff. I'm okay with it, mm -hmm, as long mm -hmm. as you know when the product does come out, all of these little kinks and whatnot are ironed out. So it's like, yeah, yeah. What you have to do. Mm -hmm. There are. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was, I was just gonna say uh, I won't get like super pissy, but I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you know what? Do what you what you have to do. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. Mm -hmm. I'll be a good person. Uh, yeah, for me, there's been a lot of situations where when games get delayed, I'm like, oh, thank God, because, you know, there's, like, games that are coming up in the same month. I'm like, oh, okay, so now I can, like, focus on this and that and blah, blah, blah. Um, ooh, wait. Did, did they say that Gran Turismo got delayed? That's new to me. Huh. It's it's never coming out. No. <laughs> uh, let me re hold on. Let me see if I can. Okay, there you go. Um, it was just a form of text. Like I didn't even know that it was getting delayed. Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gotham Knights pushed to twenty twenty two. Okay. Yes. There was something about uh, PlayStation games that were mentioned in here. Let's see. I think it's coming up now. Oh, never mind. Uh, maybe after that? <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ah, so other high-profile games have been also have also been delayed, including Hogwarts Legacy, Gran Turismo Seven. And Lord of the Rings, Gollum, uh, Vampire, Masquerade, uh, Bloods, Bloodlines 2, and more. Wow, so that's actually new to me. So, oh, okay, maybe that's why uh, they didn't show it off at the last uh, State of Play for PlayStation. Huh. I guess it makes sense. They, they could have said they, they, they're, they're delaying the, um, the release. That would have been nice. Huh. Who would have thunk? Hmm. But I was going to say, um, to kind of go along with your point, that I, I'm kind of like on the same boat as well. Um, uh, I've already said, like, uh, yeah, thank God, because, you know, I can fo focus on other games. Uh, although, yeah, sometimes, you know, there are situ situations where the game gets delayed to all the way to the same game they're really looking forward to. So you're like, fuck, you know? So it's like, I don't know. It is what it is, though. Uh, you know, in this case, like with uh, oh, which one was it? Oh yeah, 
Guilty Gear was delayed recently. It, they announced the delay and they pushed it all the way to June. Cause, cause what? You know, we've talked about it before, but it's the same month as Final Fantasy VII Remake uh, Integrate, which is a DLC update for um, the game. So, um, of course, that really depends on who you are. If you really want to go hardcore on uh, Integrate, that kind of sucks. And if you're also into fighting games, that definitely sucks. Because, you know, Guilty Gear. Which is also something you kind of want to grind so that you can, can get good at during the first uh, first month. You know, I, I, guess, I guess it really depends on how, how uh, hardcore you are with these two games altogether. But um, anyway, when it comes to games that are being delayed, yeah, you know, that's that's kind of a kind of a, a common reaction nowadays. Is it's uh, you know, take all the time you need. Uh, to, you know, yeah, it's like it, it's better for for them to like take the time as they need to mm-hmm. give us a really good complete game instead of like okay here here's what we have so far bye yeah 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 you know cyberpunk in this case too especially i i would not have give any care if they delayed it even more like especially if they delayed it all the way to like march for example that would have been i think honestly that would have helped so much with the game <laughs> But unfortunately, that wasn't the case, and uh, it really, did, it really, honestly, hurt the potential they could have had. It could have been one of the most sought-after games on the PlayStation Five sort of generation, or maybe of all time. But you know, they kind of ruined it, uh, unfortunately. So that's why um, it's good for games, in, in our opinion, uh, for them to get delayed. You know. Um, Another game that was another big game that was delayed by a, a whole year uh, is um, uh, Halo, Halo Infinite. Halo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, they've they've came out with a statement of sorts of where the game is right now, and I'm. I think they actually took out some of the features still for the game. I'm like, what? <laughs> like, yeah, they added dy- dynamic weather, but they took out, like, the brutes or elites or something like that. Like, I, I don't know. I, I kind of heard something. And I'm like, really? And then uh, they definitely took out um, dual wielding. I'm like, what? <laughs> you know, even though I don't play the game, like, but I understand that dual wielding is a pretty prominent part of the you know the game you know <laughs> like huh okay what's going on there <laughs> hopefully um you okay there <laughs> yeah you okay man you okay, you okay boo <laughs> yeah we'll have to see about that let's see what's going on there like, do, 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 do you need to... where are your parents mm-hmm. so, yeah anywho uh back on gotham knights um I'm I'm actually kind of looking forward to it. It does look cool. Um, I definitely want to uh, play as I think it was I think it was Red Hood um, initially. So I think I am still all about Red Hood. Who was the last? Mm-hmm. One? It was it's it's Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood, Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood, oh, and Nightwing, right? Yeah, Nightwing. Yeah, okay, yeah. But I forget if this um, Robin is Damien or the other Robin. Was it a... Uh, yeah, I forget was if it was Damien or not. can't be. It can't be. Yeah, because uh, Nightwing is um, Tim Drake, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or is it... No, and then, then, and then Jason is Red Hood, right? So, mm-hmm. so, yeah, it has to be... Okay, so it has to be Damien then seems like or maybe it's a completely new robin <laughs> what about <Maybe. laughs> it's not it's yeah it's a, it's a brand new character guys that's why they delayed it they, they, they're trying to robin. yeah just 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 robin 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 <laughs> robin yum <laughs> okay uh last i'm really getting hungry i'm gonna slap yeah you. i know right <laughs> why are you slapping me before you're the one who brought up red robin motherfucker <laughs> slap you no don't slap me boy 
All right. But who? Some, but somebody needs some slapping, and that is EA, dude. Because uh, there have been you some. They're, they're gonna like the slapping, you know. They 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 feel from it. <laughs> oh, are they uh, masochists? Is that what, what you think they are? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, what was going on was there was a scandal um, amongst the employees. So I think what was going on, uh, from what I can understand, was that the um, some of the employees, if not one, I forget which whichever, um, was actually selling the FIFA card stuff. Uh, I think it was like digital cards or something like that, or like some access to these digital cards for like a thousand seven hundred bucks or something like that uh, to like just random people and. Um, uh, once EA found out about that, uh, someone uh, they were trying to launch a, launch launch a investigation of sorts to settle the situation, but then someone came out with this, which is pretty much an expose on Twitter about uh, the whole grinding nature of um, FIFA. Mm-hmm. with their new games so um this is very reminiscent of uh star wars battlefront 2 do you remember that why are you why are you opening these wounds <laughs> um so anyway uh this is whole thread on twitter about um how much you have to grind what is it like from scuds tv talks about a lot of very very detailed stuff about how much you have to grind and stuff. And I think he or someone else made the calculation um, as to how much you actually have to grind for um, everything that you want in the game. So let's see. So this is based off of like averages and stuff like that. So you'd have to spend, uh, what was it? It was like one of the tweets. Or one of the threads. Um, I guess I'll just read it from here. Oh no, it's up here. Um, assuming an average of fifteen hundred coins a game, accounting for re- weekly awards, that's a mere six hundred and sixty-six. Or what? Whoa, that's a lot of sixes, dude. What the hell? Um, about sixty-six thousand games. Let's just say. Right? Yeah. Um, at an average of 20 minutes a game, that's a mere 22,000 hours of gameplay, or 916 days of gameplay 24-7. Okay, uh, goodbye everyone. I'm <laughs> gonna see you for a long time. Yeah, dude. Oh man, that's like, what, three years? Three and a half years? Or no, two and a half years, excuse me. 84 years. 84 years. <laughs> I've waited so long. <laughs> um Yeah, dude. That's um a lot. That's a lot of uh time. Oh, oof. <laughs> that's a lot. And then um when it comes to money, he said money? Yeah, in pounds. He said that uh, at a cost of seventy nine ninety nine pounds per twelve k, which is I think uh, how much you have to spend for like a ten sum or something like that. It sounds like, is he said I will need to spend a total of seventy nine thousand and nine hundred ninety pounds on FIFA points. Uh, sounds like the, the that's the amount of points you have to buy to buy everything in order to unlock everything. Uh, and someone, or if you do, if you convert it, uh, to USD, that's about a hundred thousand dollars, roughly. <sighs> mhm. Yep. Well, I guess I know where my stimulus check is going. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you got you gotta get started on that uh the FIFA grind. <laughs> that, that's why it's called a stimulus. It's get it's getting you stimulated to uh start grinding on FIFA twenty twenty one. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's his EA for you, dude. Um, there's a lot of detail to it, but that's the gist of things. 
It's very reminiscent. Um, it's like a lot worse than Star Wars because what um, you have to only spend like what only two thousand hours, you know, but um, something like that. Somewhere under under two thousand, but anyway, still a lot, still ridiculous, still reminiscent of EA, and uh, yeah, they, so um, I think EA had a statement about it, but yeah, it's just um. A lot of fluff, I think. It's not really uh, not a whole lot to it. But anyway, yeah, people are up in arms about it. Uh, there's been a small trending thing called EA Gate. You know, it's kind of like you know Gamer Gate, that sort of thing. Um, yeah. About the EA stuff that's been happening throughout the past, especially with sports games, they've been getting the worst of it. Basketball, football, and soccer, or AKA football. <laughs> Um. Yeah, it it sucks. Um, for people who've been sticking around with these games or try to stick around with these games for a very long time. And um, gonna happen. Mm hmm. Sorry. Oh, it's just saying not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. Are, yeah. People are gonna stick stick by to these games, but once, once they kind of like understand what what's happening they'll be like yeah no this ain't for me okay bye mm -hmm. yeah the only literally the only people who are going to stick around stick around are just the whales you know um who actually have that sound yeah, the whales and the ones that wants to have bragging rights mm -hmm. exactly to getting that that one player mm -hmm. getting that one player or that that team that they want with the best stats i think i think that's how it works uh yeah it's a damn shame uh and you know it uh, mm -hmm. it's yeah very very um unbelievable to say the least and you know that this this stuff can could could um translate over to other stuff man like um i feel like pokemon could potentially be there um in the future if they actually try to take note from ea games you know uh, they seem seemingly locked behind um, a number of Pokemon behind the DLCs, right? So if you want to get this Pokemon, you have to buy this DLC. Uh, you have no. to, you know, and then when you have when you want um the legendary stuff, uh, you have to get the Crown Tundra update, that sort of thing. Uh, mm -hmm. But but to me, like what Pokemon did with Sword and Shield. Are like opposite, you know, like uh, optional. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to buy, you don't have to get the DLC to enjoy the game. You can just have the base game and just, and then just you know, trade. Go along, go along with your day. Yeah, uh, you can still trade um the Pokemon that they have for something you you have or something like that. Um. There are generous people out there that do all the wonder trading. They're still somehow like trading like, you know, these legendaries, right? That people can't get. So you have a chance to get these legendaries. Or, you know, if you have that generous friend or someone from your Twitch community or whatever, um, there, there's there's going to be someone who's going to be very generous and um, going to just give you Pokemon just like that for like your little... Eevee or whatever, <laughs> like that shitty Eevee that you hatch from the egg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little different, but you know, um, it could potentially reach there. You know, uh, oh, you have to get these Pokemon from the eggs that you can only spend gems on or whatever, or with gems. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so that at that point, they're not fun presents anymore. They're they're just food boxes. <laughs> No, 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 we don't see that word. <laughs> we do not see that word here. Yeah, they're, they're surprise we don't, we don't call We don't call it loot boxes. Yeah. The, the, uh, the, the, these, these mechanics are very ethical. <laughs> yeah, <there> you go. <laughs> <laughs> they're very ethical. <laughs> you don't have to, you, you don't have to, you know, give us, give us it, the money, mm -hmm. but you know, it, it, it'll help. Yeah, exactly. Ish. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> Yep, that's how uh, EA is right now. It's like, oh, you don't have to give us money. You can you can play it out, but uh, yeah, you know, so you gotta put the twenty 
thousand hours or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like you don't have to give us the money, but if you really want to have this guy, you better give us the money. But you don't have to. But if you really want this guy, yeah. Yeah, you can give us the money. <laughs> it's like, it's like, please stop. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh. Anyway, uh, we're all done now with the uh the controversial stuff. Uh, so let's get through the rest of the the news, which is the fighting game news. Um, so previously in Tekken Seven, they revealed the uh the Polish Prime Minister, who had no name previously, but now I think she her name was revealed by somebody on Twitter, and her name is apparently uh Lydia Sobai Sobieska. Sobieska. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia Sobieska. Sobieska. Pokemon. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it is Pokemon. I choose you. Sobieska. It's Sobieska. Yeah, Sobieska. Yeah, it's, it's very... Sobieska. I don't know. It's a very... Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it's Polish. Um, sorry for butchering the name, but yeah. Uh, yeah, according to Rip. No, it's pronounced Rip. Uh, no, it's, it's ripe. <laughs> ripe. Ripe. Yeah, you know, like a, like, like a ripe tomato. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I guess he got the care package of sorts, I think. Uh, from, oh, from, from, uh, e from an esports. No, 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 it's, sorry, it's, uh, Bandai esports. And then uh, this revealed the name, I guess. Well, did <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. Did did Harada approve this? That's the question. It's straight from Band Bandai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's back. All right, he's he's back. All right, okay. So um, so the letter right on top of there does reveal the name, uh, Lydia, uh, Prime Minister of Republic of Poland, uh, and in Warsaw, I guess. So very, uh, looks like a very authentic looking letter. It's got the Zaibatsu stuff on there, blah blah blah. So I guess that it is her name. It's very odd. So just like that, now we know the name of the uh, Polish Prime Minister. And it's uh, Lydia Sob uh, Sobieska. So yeah. <laughs> so I, I, we better stop before we get killed. Alright, alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all that's her name. That's all we need to know. Alright. So but interesting way to in reveal her name. And we haven't even seen her trailer just yet, so it's weird. Yep. Anywho, uh, oh, there's some story details. Hold on, let me let me uh take another glance at it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so in the in the letter, uh, it says that we get a little more of the character story as Hihachi responds to a parent request to with, with withdraw some of his forces in Poland. Oh, I see. He acknowledges that Lydia took her high status office at, at a young age and notes that things. Will not go well for her and her country if she pushes the issue too far. Huh, okay. That's, uh, I guess that's the bit of it for now. Uh, closing remarks include an invitation for the P Polish Prime Minister to make her request in person by entering the King of Iron Fist tournament, which, is a, uh, which we have a strong suspicion will come to the exact fruition. In fact, this line... This lines pick uh no this lines up directly with her uh brief uh, remark in the uh teaser trailer that she must win for the people of Poland. You can view some of the photos and the blah blah blah. All right, so apparently she just wants uh uh troops to be withdrawn from her country. So yeah, she has to win the tournament in order for her not going to happen, girl. In order for her uh request to be fulfilled. 
Yeah, so that's uh, interesting. Um, if, I guess if you don't have any comments, we can definitely move on to some Capcom stuff. Keep calm. Capcom. So uh, Capcom announced their CBT once again for this year. It's going to be, I, I, I'm assuming this is going to be online, right? Um, but anyway, they announced it, no less. And here's the trailer for it. I think this will be still online just to make sure, you know, we don't uh, take any risks, right? And uh, I'm assuming it will be the same procedure. It might be a little different, but we'll see. Hold on. Yeah, they're showing like the online footage. <laughs> Oh yeah, so there's new there's a new stage and uh, new colors, new costumes for some people. For G. Seth. Mhm. Mm Ring of Galaxy, that's the stage for it. Yeah, G got that that uh the hippie slash disco costume. <laughs> yeah, it's still regional, so looks like it's gonna be online still. good trailer um so yeah i like that g costume though with the the disco sort of look to him where was it because you know he's got the finger so like yeah <laughs> i do like those colors though i'm a sucker for blues so mm -hmm. that's uh that's a plus for me Yeah, so you kind of see it. You see like the bell bottoms, the big, big shoes. Um, yeah. And then Seth is a very interesting costume, kind of more like a dancer. Uh, from the Middle East. <laughs> belly. Let's see. Seth looks like a belly dancer. Like my goodness. I mean, if that's his king from that, or if, that, if that's what he wants to look like, just yeah. Huh. Yeah, look at that. Like, damn. <laughs> I'm get some fan art I from that. confuse everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I will confuse everybody. <laughs> What is that? You're attracted to me? It's like... Yes. <laughs> that will be your your <laughs> your downfall. <laughs> your confusion will be your you downfall. <laughs> you activated my trap car. You have activated my trap engine. <laughs> oh. God. Skip already. Oh, <laughs> ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep. So the DLC stuff will release uh, now, <laughs> tomorrow, or now. Uh, oh no, it's already it's already been out. So yeah. Anyway. Um, anyway. Uh, but the CPT will be on April seventeenth, or starting from the seventeenth of April, and and again, I I believe for the most part, it's still going to be online for this year. Because again, to uh, minimize any risk of the coronavirus, so you know, it's still going strong. Um, uh, but you know, uh, I think from starting from next year, I think it will be when we'll see that light um, at that uh, end of the tunnel. So, so cool. Um, I'll I'll, I'll definitely check it, check out some of the online tournaments. But anyway, uh, meanwhile. For KOF stuff, we've had yet another character coming in. Another favorite. No surprises with the new characters just yet. Very good. <laughs> yep. 
It is definitely the uh, the wolf himself, which is Terry Bogard. I'm starting to hate this stage. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you mean? It's at the beach. I know, but I'm starting to hate it. But is it because like you always see the beach? You know. <laughs> no, it's more like they just keep using it. Well, they have. The, well, they they just have this stage though too. Yeah. But majority of their videos is with the beach. It's with stage. the beach. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh god. I mean, I think. Can we just call the I think from this it's point, kind of like the... go ahead. Oh yeah. I was gonna say the beach stage to me. I'm gonna just name it training stage. Training is stage. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's been some little discrepancy, like uh, what this move is called, this uh this finisher that he has this time around. Uh, people some some say people uh said was. Uh, power Geyser, even though he doesn't, or not Power Geyser, um, Buster Geyser. Some people say it was Buster Launcher, and there some people say Buster Riser. So let's take a take a listen. Busting, busting. Buster Buster. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I I'm hearing Launcher. I'm hearing launcher on that one. You, you you don't you can't you don't have an answer for that. What did you hear, Kitty? Meow. <laughs> Kitty just stared. Yeah. yeah, Kitty just stared. Like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> You're asking me that now. <laughs> like, leave me alone. Yeah. I'm staring at the door. It, no, it's uh, it's Buster Buster uh, lawn chair. <laughs> That's what he's really saying. And then um, yes. uh, what you call? I do. I do like the the animation of um, his super though, because uh, oh, whoops. Hold on, let me turn that down a little bit. Yeah, I like I like him like dragging his knuckle on the ground before he hits uh, the opponent. And it does, <laughs> yeah, it does look like he's like hitting him in the balls though. Like oh, poor poor Joe. <laughs> Maybe he likes it. Mmm. He likes it right there. You think? I like the star thing too. It's like kind of interesting. <laughs> it sounds like Buster Launcher. I want to say it's Launcher. Oh, and of course, Team Fatal Fury has been revealed. So it's uh, Terry and his brother Andy and Joe Higashi. So it's appropriate. I think it's appropriate. Team Pikachu. Pikachu. <laughs> and then uh, after this, they had more footage of them just fighting. Yeah, so you can kind of get to see how the game sort of plays out a little bit more. That's kind of neat. May it look like it was some like reporting or um, news report or something like that. Kind of neat. Uh, kind of shows you how like how far they can dodge roll, which is not too far f as like other games. Like, it seems like I don't know. I'm not I'm not a good judge for that, but it looks like it's short. Hmm. And then yeah, you can see like some combos that what you can do with some characters. So yeah, there was like a total of like two minutes of this, of this entire thing. Kind of interesting of how they're uh, doing more re reveals now. Let me beat up my brother. Yeah. And Joe. <laughs> but uh, I think um, going back on how Terry looks though, more importantly. Um, I think he looks good. He, he, he looks very beefy. Um, they got the fabric on his hat. Which is like a nice like bit of detail right there, like even like the 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 uh, Fatal Fury stuff looks detailed too. It looks like it's some embroidering going on, um, the hat and everything. You see like the leather, his leather vest. 
Hair looks pretty good. Very beefy. Got the same voice. Yeah, get ready. Get butt. <laughs> good bite. <laughs> yeah, I see Fuck you, brother. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, he he didn't have his power dunk from fourteen, so people were happy to see his power dunk come back. So I didn't even notice that it was gone. Hey, come on, come on! <laughs> yep, has his power geyser. Buster Wolf. Yeah, I, I actually do like his super, like, a lot. It looks really cool. Just from, like, the cinematic standpoint. The detail of just little nuances and stuff like that. The this stuff, the effects and such. I think they, they're doing been a, doing a bit, way better job than 14 when it comes to like just visuals. And then, yeah, and then uh, I think you pointed out last time too, where um, whenever they do like some of their supers, there's like a negative effect on the background. Uh, like yeah, when they you see when they, there's like that burst in the background. You pointed that out, and uh, I I think that's a cool effect too. Nice little touch there. I point at the sky. Yeah. For no reason. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what he says there. That's like the more confusing part. He just sounds like he's like, <laughs> It's like <laughs> 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 That's the more confusing part than. Buster, uh, whatever he says, like launcher or riser or lunch, la la lawn chair or lunchbox or whatever. <laughs> but what? <laughs> it just sounds. It just sounds like what? <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it up. Let me let me turn it up for you. You say whap. Whap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, as a, that's that's kind of funny to me. It's like just thinking about it, it's like if you're really trying to like break it down, like his, his uh, that one line is just like, what? <laughs> what is he saying when he's pointing? Kitty, I'm gonna bust that way. <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> that should be the just the, just the only little title in our um for the episode. Just way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is he is he uh just Waluigi in disguise? Is is that where he's at instead of Smash? <laughs> no, he's uh he just revealed the next um character for Smash. Wait. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. But see, I have an invitation to. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? Where did you get that? Give me, <laughs> give me. <laughs> Give me. I got me going to smash. Yay! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rex. Uh, he looks like so confused. He's like, Yeah, he's like, Huh? <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> the, the, the over exaggerated, like, anime reaction. Huh? <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm pretty sure, like, in the Japanese ver version, he just says, like, Eh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh let's move on to the very important bit of fighting game related news which is uh Skip. evo oh we're not skipping on this one man <laughs> i know i will give up my smash invitation damn <laughs> damn for evo damn dude yeah so um Cause... Mm, go ahead go ahead because evo it's where the heart is. It's not a place. It's its people. Mmm. Okay, okay. Alright. All right. <laughs> thank you, Odin. I steal from you. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. There we go. That's good. Um okay. <sighs> let's see. Evo though. Um 
they uh, came out with an announce very very big announcement uh, as of recent, not too long ago. Um, so of course they have addressed the hardships that it went through last year, and uh, they, and they want to make sure that it is a safer place um, once they get get back into things, of course. And then uh, they came out and said that um, they have joined Sony. Sony Interactive Entertainment and RTS, which I'm not sure what that is exactly, but um, apparently they have been bought out by Sony. So that's the big part of, part of news. Um, you know, when you immediately think of that, uh, you know, what what is the first thing that comes to mind, Zell, for you? I, I want to hear your very first sort of thing that came into mind when you hear Sony buying Evo. Disney, is that you? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you said first thing in mind. What, Sony? <laughs> really? After, after yeah, hearing Sony. So, so, so Sony is becoming the next Disney. They're buying everything. Okay, all right, all right. All right. I'll, give you, I'll give you that one, all right. But anyway. if you want to be my honest answer... <laughs> Okay, it's only buying Evo. So how censored is Evo going to be? Oh, okay, that's a okay. I actually didn't think about that. Right. See, I, I got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you're thinking a... of something else. I thought of this. It's like, hmm, Sony, <laughs> Japanese game, censored. Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. here you go. Okay. Uh, well, I think for the most part, um, they will or still will be able to be themselves for the most part. Obviously, we're not going to see what Evil Japan did uh, the last time they had their real, real life sort of event, offline event. Remember what the, um, the two girls and they were like making fun of uh, DOA of how their boobs were very, very, um, prominent, the, 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 the characters on the their breasts were prominent and then and then um they they uh they paused on bass or bass um power bombing one of the girls right on that certain angle and they're just like whoa look at the angle and then um uh at the time joey queller was like or queer was like so we value or we have core values and blah blah, blah. and then there's a whole meme about core values <laughs> And it's like, well, you know, this is a different, like, culture, right? Yeah. So... This was in Japan, so. Mm. Yeah. Very different. Like, I'm, It's like, I'm sorry that the um, some of the audience here don't know how to keep it in their pants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So um, we're definitely not going to be seeing that, though, from uh, now that Sony has that in their hands. Uh, from this point on yeah boo unfortunately but that's just how it is maybe maybe in sony uh when me and the japanese side of things might be a little different but he definitely definitely here uh california and then of course vegas but um california of course that's where the uh that's where that most of that sort of happens anyway um censorship policies that could be something that could be playing a part but um, that doesn't take away from them being themselves, which means they can still have the games that us- they usually have. So, um, I think there was a following thing. Let me bring it up here. Sorry. And then there was one more thing. Sorry. So. Um, there was a little visual that popped up. Uh, oh, there's not here. But anyway, uh, basically they still they can still have uh, Mortal Kombat. They can still have um Guilty Gear. They can still have uh what's what was another game? Um, let's see. Oh, okay. I I, I guess that's the official confirmation for now. So for now they have Street Fighter Five, Mortal Kombat Eleven ultimate uh tekken 7 and guilty gear strive 
So I think, from, but for, I think for the most part, they're still open to do like Killer Instinct because that's Microsoft. Um, Smash, right? They didn't because uh, Nintendo didn't come out and said, "Oh, we're we're not a part of it anymore." But uh, Nintendo said we'll continue to uh, assess Evo and other opportunities as we plan for future online and offline Smash Brothers tournament activity. So. Uh, that is a little cryptic, if you ask me. Because what could that mean? You know what I mean? Like, does that mean, uh, see you later, nerds? Or, (laughs) (laughs) um, or something else in general. But, uh, Mark, Mark Man, or aka AKA Mark Julio, has come out and said, because he is a part of Evo in a way, um, said that uh evo is still open to all platforms the teams at playstation and rts are enabling us to continue working with our community to support fighting games so they're still you know um technically allowed to do what they do which is to bring all those games to uh evo but now it's just a matter of if nintendo wants to associate themselves with something that has like a big brand name uh, now that's showing like Sony, for example, you know, because uh, we don't really see that much in uh, uh, in other events. But anyway, um, oh yeah, so I guess RTS is just a esports venture from Endeavor. Have acquired the assets and properties of this Evo series. Uh, what that immediately means is that they definitely have now the sort of that marketing power backed up by uh, Sony, definitely. So, hmm. from that point, that could be a good thing, you know, because it does bring the Evo name to more people. Um, even though, yeah, Evo is a, the most sort of recognizable fighting game tournament for everyone else when it comes to gamers. But when it comes to, like... Um, everyone else out there maybe there are there are people who do recognize it just alone that name alone but now with sony behind it there'll definitely be more people who kind of hear that name so that's um so that's a good thing i think you know more exposure but uh you know there are a lot of other other questions like you know what does it mean for the for the sort of like that grassroots sort of feel to it what does it mean for just sort of the overall like um, the 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 message I guess behind Evo or the 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 the, the stance that they used to stand for by, by um you know from long ago and mm-hmm. yeah like um you know it's it's those are definitely the questions that will be answered in long term but uh immediately um I don't think. You know, there's gonna be a whole lot change um, when it comes to like games and stuff like that. But when it comes to like visual side of things, like yeah, we'll probably see like the Sony logo more often, um, more Sony related commercials in between or ads, um, Sony branded stuff at the uh, venue or whatever the vendor. Uh, maybe like sony branded like water bottles or like you know the the thermos and stuff like that um shirt t-shirts and stuff like that but i think yeah you know um it's still gonna be evo no matter how you look at it um let's see uh let's see all right so uh the people behind evo will still be there of course um other than uh, the, with the exception of you know uh, a member going away due to some uh, due to an incident that he admitted to, which is uh, Joey Cuellar, uh aka Mr. Wiz, uh, Tony and Tom Cannon, the Cannon brothers, are uh, still behind Evo, no less, and they will make sure hopefully that Evo is Evo. That's uh, hopefully that's the thing. Uh, any any comments about? the uh, evo huh um anything you want to bring up or uh <clears throat> good luck to you sony uh good luck to you rts mm-hmm. 
give us a good show. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. all I'm asking. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully... Uh... Try not to censor a lot of things, Sony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They're I mean... looking at you. Yeah. I hope um, that doesn't force... Uh, you know, yeah, the, like the censorship on fighting games themselves, like a co like the, when it comes to like the costumes. If it's like you know just language, I can get behind that. I'm like whatever about it. Yeah. But um, when it comes to like the visual side of things, that's where it could get a get annoying. Like um, like dude, come on, it's a fighting game. Like <laughs> you know what I mean. But we'll see. We'll see how uh, that will get handled um, in the long yeah. term of things and how uh, this will work out. Hopefully, hopefully, it won't work out for the worst. Hopefully, Sony won't be like, "All right, uh, we'll shut we'll shut down Evo because we said so." You know, Oof. that's like the worst thing, just because it doesn't bring in as much money as they want. Um, I I I do hope that uh, Evo can still keep going, um, yep. for the sake of things, and. Uh, you know, you know, once uh, stuff comes back to sort of the more normal, quote unquote, things like the offline events, um, hopefully that'll still be sort of like that same experience. Although I do think now that Sony has, you know, the rights and stuff, the properties and stuff like that, it makes me think: Will Evo will still take place? Will it will it still take place in Vegas? Because uh, Sony, at least for the U.S. side of things, is uh, is based in California. So it makes me think, will they actually move back to California again? Because long time ago, I think they used to have Evo in California. If my uh, history is right. So if, uh, yeah, you know, now that Sony has it, will they actually make Evo move to California again? And have their events there and such, which um, yeah. that that could open doors for me personally. But you know, especially if you move here to California, like you've been planning to, um, you know what I mean. Like we we definitely have a a door for us to like consider. You know, we can consider you know checking out and um, you know meet up with the the guys in California. You know what I mean, and all that yeah. stuff, and including um, you know. A lot of the the big names and yo video games and all that stuff and um that could be fun right but uh you know that's still that's just a an assumption speculation don't take that as uh with big big bags of salt you know what i mean just take it with a grain of salt yeah uh any more comments though before we wrap it up for this part nope all right don't have anything more for evo except for again good luck do a good job and mm -hmm. good luck yeah 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 we'll be we're all gonna be waiting here mm -hmm. there's yeah there's still a lot of questions so we'll we'll leave it at that for now hopefully maybe uh in the future they'll answer more questions we'll see okay uh in the year 2000 yeah <laughs> In the year twenty, pitch. in the year twenty seventy eight, <laughs> we still, <laughs> yeah. we still have the COVID. We still have. Oh my god, dude, that was so bad, dude. That was so. We terrible. heard everything else, but we still have the fucking COVID. Yeah, yeah, right. Don't like, ask us how. Yeah, yeah. We're still behind. Our we're, we're still have to practice social distancing <laughs> i don't know why we're talking old like that but we're yeah. still on lockdown <laughs> oh, God. Lock up. <laughs> Won't let me out <laughs> locked up yeah yeah <laughs> grand dos vasana day o christmas okay now we can Skip. uh uh, skip <laughs> no i i can definitely see why it said skip on this one anyway uh now we can move on to the different type of news which is anime and movies and all that stuff uh the lovely anime that zao has been watching yashihime uh princess half demon 
uh, is getting a second season in production. And he's rolling his eyes as I say the headline. <laughs> God. No, Zawa, you still have a life to live for. You have so much to live for still. This anime is just fanfic up the damn ass. Well, funny you say that, because this is a anime original story and not so much by... No, but the, the pacing and the, the dialogue sounds like it's a fanfic. Mmm. Okay. Uh, the illustrator slash writer, uh, Lumi uh, Lumiko Takahashi, has shared her thoughts on the upcoming season, saying that the second season will be even more exciting with uncovering mysteries and the older generation missing. Uh, the older generation refers to Inuyasha, Kagome, Seshomaru being absent from the first season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a premiere date uh, for season two has not uh, been announced yet at this time. Never. <laughs> but updates will be... Uh, are sure to come soon. So we just have um, a poster of who is this? Toa. 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 Yeah. Forgot her name for a moment. Um, one of the the uh, Seshomaru twin sisters. It, some people might not have known. Oh. Yes. But they don't know who the mom is. Isn't that? Isn't it? Is it? Wait. Wait, yeah, isn't that the, the the very first thing you know? Is Sish it's it's Sishomaru's da daughters, but they don't know who the mom is. That's the thing. That's the spoiler. So I didn't see the mom. <laughs> see, the mom is Inuyasha. <laughs> yes, yeah, that that explains the uh, the red little hair because that that you know his gi, his uh, his his outfit somehow transferred over into the jeans. <laughs> I mean, you said it was fanfic, right? So that's how it makes sense. <laughs> okay, all right. So, all right, let's talk about Godzilla fanfic. <laughs> God, <laughs> and not the safe for work one. <laughs> all right. Well, Inu or excuse me, I Yasha Hime is getting a second season. So yeah. Up next, uh, we do have. A little meme that remember I talked about, um, you know, Garrido shooting a hyper beam and then the, the Pidgey's still alive somehow, but just like faints. So, yeah, someone posted this thing on Twitter recently or retweeted recently. Pretty much describing the same exact thing I was talking about. The Sogalio using Sunsteel Strike it was a very dramatic attack. <laughs> That's the result. Just. <laughs> On, and the the the, the little uh, uh I think I believe it was Yamper. Um Yamper uh receives the attack and instead of just like disintegrating to like a thousand pieces like you would see in like Dragon Ball and such Yamper just kind of just meh <laughs> you know. <laughs> you just go bleh. bleh. Yeah, even the tongue out and everything. Um, and then someone, uh, had a very, very, uh, good response. It's this one. <laughs> it's the Spider-Man <laughs> reaching for Mary Jane. No! <laughs> it's like a little pup. It's like a little precious thing. And then Spider-Man goes, no! <laughs> I think that's like... The perfect response for like some people. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that was funny, so that's why I put it up there. All right. Anyway, meanwhile, live action uh, Last of Us news. They say from IGN, they say uh, that the dialogue will be lifted from the original game, uh, but we'll see some episodes that will deviate greatly from the events we played uh, ser uh, pr previously. Excuse me. So, there's going to be some differences, I guess, but it will still follow, I guess, the first game for right now. Um, but, would that also mean that will this story deviate from 
that one big scene that happened in the very beginning of Last of Us Part 2. Hmm. Mm -hmm. well, uh, well, well, the outcome of that would be very different. Hmm. That's what I wonder. I wonder how much they all actually all deviate. If it's just like, oh, Ellie just has short hair. You know? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and Joel has long hair. <laughs> is that the is that the deviation now <laughs> we'll see from this uh live action TV series? <laughs> oh man. Alright. Uh we can now definitely move on to some Godzilla stuff. Yay! Um did you see this? Did you see this nope. uh figure? Yes. <laughs> Would you uh would you drop drop some money down for this uh, figure? What is it? What is the price? It is I don't know. <laughs> but um <laughs> how much you cannot, you cannot just tell me here it is. It, no. It costs everything. <laughs> A thousand four hundred, got it. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. Oh, oh, look at that! I have what I what I need. <laughs> yeah, they they even put the the Super X or whatever it's called. I forget what it was, what, what it was uh, the full name for it. The ship that was attacking Godzilla and oh, was it Biollante? I think it was. But anyway, it's a it's a figure of Godzilla from '89 to be exact, which I believe that was during a. Uh, Biollante. Otherwise, um, the '90s Godzilla from early on was starting was starting from uh, King Ghidorah. So, which is still my favorite personally from the '90s. But anyway, a uh, very detailed figure. Um, I think it. I think the the word on the street was like three hundred bucks or something like that. But that's it. No, it has to be more than 300 bucks. Look at this. 18, 18 inches of the regal glory one would expect from the King of the Monsters. Pre-ordering pre starts from uh, March 23rd. So probably by the time we have this video out. So, uh, But anyway, what do you think? Do you approve? I heard your cat talking. Your cat was approving. Yeah. What do you want, Kitty? You you wanna you wanna buy it for me? You have your your stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the base looks nice. Nice tail. Spines look good. Can't really see the eyes though. I'm not, I'm not really uh. I don't feel about. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the eyes just yet because I can't really see the eyes. Well, anyway. You gotta, uh, look, you gotta look with your your special eyes. The special eyes, yeah. Um, is that is that nice? Uh, big, thick thighed Godzilla from the nineties, pretty much. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Yes. <laughs> how thick do you want your Godzilla be? Yes. yes. <laughs> how how tall you want the this uh, Godzilla figure want to be? Yes. Do you want do you want Super X on the ground? Yes. Yes. We we, we want we want Super X on the ground. Are you just being corny? No. No no no. <laughs> no. It's like no. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh okay, it's just called Super X too. Because uh, I remember there was a Super X uh during um just the first Godzilla, that's right. And then that Godzilla looked really different <laughs> from this Godzilla. I think I think it was just called Godzilla once again. So it's a little confusing. I forget which year that one came out. It was like '87, I think. I forget. You know, you know what I'm talking about, right? He had the, the weird looking like eyes and everything. Uh, it was just him, I think. Um, I'll I'll, I'll look it up just for the sake of it. Uh, ugh. sorry. This. Oh yeah, this this keyboard. Godzilla 87? 
want to say. No, 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 no. Um, I'll just put 80s. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, it was this Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, 85. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Seen this one once. Uh. What? And never again. Never again. I seen it as a kid. I just uh can't remember a whole lot of things other than the face. And a Super X. Oh, there's a figure of it though. What do you know? <laughs> anyway. Just thought I'd bring up the figure. Very uh, nice looking. It's gotta be pretty big. Yeah, so it's probably it's gotta be like five five hundred to like six hundred bucks. I'm gonna throw out my guess on that one. You wanna throw out a guess and then we can uh, find out in the future? I'm I'm gonna go ahead and say six hundred. Survey says blank. Oh that's my answer. Blank. You can't say blank. Stimulus check then. <laughs> You're gonna say fourteen hundred. No. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 second one. Of the stimulus check. So six hundred. So 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 you're so me. So you're gonna take my guess as well. All right. You want to play that way? All right. Sure. All right. Sure. <laughs> Are you sure you so, don't want to go uh, lower or higher than me though? We're not playing. Um, what's that? What's that game? The Price is Right. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing The Price is Right. No, we're playing The Price is Right, my friend. <laughs> I mean. Oh, you. All, right, all right, all right. We're both saying six hundred. Fine. Anyway, uh, the price is wrong. <laughs> that no, but uh, the price is wrong, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, gotta love, gotta love that movie. Anyway, um, speaking of movies, we'll end it on this one. Uh, Venom Two has been delayed to September seventeenth. Uh, and yes, this is Venom with Venom. Tom Hardy. Venom, Venom, Venom. <laughs> uh, it was it was uh twenty fifth of June, but now it's uh the seventeenth. Any comments? If it's more screen time with Venom, I'm okay. Uh it says let there be carnage, so maybe there's there's gonna be more carnage. AKA Woody Harrelson. <laughs> Venom is only is is my medicine. All right, all Did right. Say what 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 the rating's gonna be? No, I don't think so. I um not yet anyway. What was the first Venom um movie's rating? I think it was thirteen. PG? I think it was thir thir thirteen. Let's find out. We have the power of the internet. Oops. Okay. Unavailable. Unavailable. There was no rating. It was unrated. <laughs> Pretty sure it was 13, though. Uh, Let me see. Where is the rating, usually? Uh, Let's see. All right, let's do a uh, control F rating. Initially with an uh, R rating. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure they've lowered it down to 13. So that way pe more people can watch it. Yeah. Uh, maybe hopefully, um, like you said earlier, they're playing around with the, the Marvel Universe being rated R. Oh, yeah, see, yes, it's eventually rated PG-13 with the violence toned down. Right there. So hopefully uh, Venom 2 might change that. But we'll have to see about that. Any uh, lasting, or uh, not lasting, any last thoughts on um, Venom? Uh, Marvel or Disney, get rid of your wallets. Please <laughs> buy. Spider-Man from from Sony 
please. Mm. So you don't have to play that that um game with them anymore of how much money you guys are gonna have to shell out to just you know keep them in the cinematic universe. Pretty much can please. mouse, yeah, <laughs> can mouse. Yeah. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty. Well, if you don't have any more th uh, things to talk about, I think that is it. Do you have anything to add before we uh, sign off? Hmm. What's the next one that we have, sir? That can be it, right? Hmm? Oh no, that was it. Right? <laughs> I thought there was one more. Oh, was it? Oh shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> You're hungry, sir. That's why. You're hungry. I am hungry for more. Anyway, sorry about what that. What the hell is that? What the hell is what? Oh, yeah. I was looking at Tokyo. What was the cyber hey? one? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, the last one. I was like, what the hell is that? That's a meme that I wanted to share one more t well, for the last one. But anyway, uh, a little bit on more on Godzilla. Um, there was this uh, nice little artwork, uh, kind of reminiscent of like, uh, like old school traditional Chinese, um, slash East Asian artwork. So I want twenty of these. Yeah. All right. Looks pretty cool. I do like it. Like, can you buy it? Um, I mean, at some point, in a form of a wait, uh, poster artwork. So it's a poster. So I'm, I'm, I, somewhere in the world, you can buy it probably. <laughs> yeah. It's, wait. Oh, it's, oh. 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 Someone said it's a fan-made poster. Oh. Okay. And then, okay, and then the news outlet said, thank you for the correction. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, so what happened was it was posted by the official legendary um, Weibo account. It appears that the artwork was actually made by a fan, and legendary decided to repost it. Oh, interesting. How the tables have turned. Monkey. Gone, gone back to monkey. I mean, it's still good regardless. It is. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you can probably print it on your own. I don't know. It's a pretty big height. Yeah, it's a decent resolution. Oh, it does say. Well, according to the the this, it says four thousand ninety six by four thousand ninety six, but. That doesn't seem right because this side is shorter than this side. The the uh, the width is smaller than the height, so that can't be right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> you know they they can't um, do math. Mm -hmm. Uh, but anyway, if you don't know if if you don't have any more comments after that, nope, I just want it. Yeah, you just, you just want right it. Now. It does look cool. It does look cool regardless. And now, yeah, and now that it's made by a fan, it's like, oh, wow, that's even more cool. Uh, anyway, I wanted to leave it off on a meme sort of note. There was a, a post from somebody showing uh, some Japanese, uh, Japanese folks in Japan trying out this sandwich with, the, with this cheese. Very, um, very stretchy. So I'm pretty Why? sure, pretty sure this is like super mozzarella or something, or it could be like Munster or something. <laughs> super mozzarella. Yeah, right. Super, <laughs> super <laughs> from Frankie, <laughs> fucking Frankie. <laughs> super. The 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 the, the hands. <laughs> my I need my, I need bigger forearms. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just forearms they gotta be square yeah you're right you're or right rectangular 
You just gotta have big forearms, man. That's what that's what that's that's what you need, man. Anyway, um, that 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 cheese is uh super stretchy, as you can see. Look at that! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> you can't even pull all the way back and and rip the cheese still. Well, what if like they stretch it and then it you know breaks and it just sl <laughs> yeah, it, like hits the other person like next to you or something. But the other person's like <laughs> anticipating, so they just grab it with their mouth. They're like, ah. Like, look at this guy. Like, he's still, he's like trying to pull the cheese on the floor and he's like off his yeah. chair. There's already stuff on the floor. So. And if the cheese is still like stretching out to the floor, like, goddamn. Good, good job, sir. Now you have COVID. Uh, <laughs> I hope not. But that cheese is extremely stretchy, as you can see. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We're done. Yeah. <laughs> You're about to say something, but what are you going to say? No. Uh, <laughs> I broke it, did. You're, 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 uh, you're spent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, I did want to, um, show another one like that but someone actually made it into um something relating to jujitsu uh, kaisen so <laughs> someone drew the main characters with that same uh sort of cheese <laughs> looks kind of even funny it's it's actually kind of cool because you can uh the artist did a good job like um getting the sort of the angle right yeah makes me uh <laughs> yeah this guy <laughs> yes. oh my god and you can, now you can definitely see the cheese on the floor oh man i wonder if this is if this is actually in japan though but i think it is judging by the uh this place or whatever i mean it could be in china or something or taiwan for all we know oh no it is yeah the uh, name on a drink is definitely Japanese. Damn, Japan got that stretchy ass stretch, stretchy cheese. I want I want to try that when everything goes back to normal. Anyway, thought I'd put that up there cuz you know it's some funny little Japanese picture. All right, now we're now we're definitely uh, all spent for sure. So uh do you have actually anything to add now? Did not bother me on the thirty first. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Godzilla's coming. Yeah, Godzilla's right around the corner at this point. Um, it's like what ten days or something like that as we record this. So Don't tell me how many days left. <laughs> it's the thirty first. It's the thirty first, right? So yeah, about just about ten days. Ten days and uh, thirty minutes. <laughs> ten days and thirty minutes. Okay. Uh, and then Justice League just came out, so I'm gonna go watch that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Get your, get your ass ready for four hours. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My, uh, I could, I could watch on my standing desk. <laughs> True. Oh. Oh. The kitty wants to say something. What do you want to say? I think he wants to watch Injustice or Injustice Justice League again for four hours. Well, you can do that by your damn self. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think the kid, the kid is saying uh, we should wrap up the show. So yeah. Uh, so yep, uh, Godzilla is coming up, so I'll definitely look forward to that and uh, Justice League as well. That's uh, that just came out. So anyways, thank you so much for tuning in for the 131st episode of the Hypecast. Uh, we appreciate it, as always. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll be back for more. Uh, hopefully, there'll be stuff to talk about. We'll probably talk about both uh, Justice League and Godzilla uh, to some extent on the podcast, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, wait, no. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I think because... Uh, no, wait, yeah, no. Because uh, the next podcast will be right before Godzilla comes out. So we can't talk about Godzilla just yet. 
My bad. But the next podcast it also will be kind of like a day or two after the release date of Monster Hunter Rise. You're right. You're right. You're right. But I don't know if I'm going to get it on release date because I'm still waiting for that confirmation um, email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capcom shipped it. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll be the case. Hopefully they'll they'll get back to you uh, soon. Yeah, I mean, it's pre-ordered. I just need yeah. confirmation saying like, "Hey, we took out the, your money for this game. Please stand by." And it will take some more money away from you because uh, you know we're Capcom. COVID. COVID. Yeah, because mm -hmm. we're Capcom also. All right, we'll let you guys go and uh, thank you so much. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. You, you, oh, you already went all the way back there. <laughs> She's like, no, I'm done with this.